Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded for a while. I've just been really busy and really tired. So I'm just going to be filming a bunch of videos in a row so that I can uh, be able to upload videos easier. And you get to look at my Deadpool taco shirt for a bit longer than, you know, than usual. <laughs> You're probably going to see this again because I love this shirt. It'll probably be my new favorite. So let's start with the books I read in June. This month, I, it wasn't my best reading month. I only read about three books and let's just say three and a bit more. I actually finished uh, this other book that you'll see in my July TBR uh, yesterday, July 1st, and then I am almost done with this other book that I spent most of July reading. It was a bit of a slower read for me, but you'll see it later in this video. So, for the books I read in June, uh, let's go Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This was actually my first introduction to the Grisha world and my first Lee Bardugo book, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. It'll probably be one of my favorite books of the year, partially because of the cover design, which is absolutely gorgeous, and then the black pages, and I loved all the characters. I may or may not have a crush on Matthias, because in my imagination, he is hot as heck. He, he's just really hot. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. Uh, this is the second book in the Wrath and the Dawn duology, and I really, really enjoyed it. I believe I gave this four out of five stars on Goodreads. I might even have to go back and edit that because I did not expect to enjoy this duology as much as I did. Um, I loved Shahrazad. I loved Khalid. Their romance was actually one of the few YA romances that I just really, really, really adored. It was very passionate, very understanding, very emotional. There were a lot of great romantic quotes. My soul sees its equal in you. Come on. And even the side characters, I really, really enjoyed. So this surprised me, probably one of the greatest surprises of the summer, hopefully not the last. Yes, that's right. I did read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on audiobook. Um, it was really good. This is probably going to be my second favorite in the whole Harry Potter series. As you can see, I didn't want to just hold up my phone and show you it on Audible, so I just brought the book and I did that really weird thing that happened earlier. But yes, I really enjoyed this and... I finished the sixth one yesterday, and I'm almost on the seventh one, and I'm so excited, and it's just so wonderful reliving the Harry Potter world through audio. Jim Dale is a great narrator, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get to Deathly Hollows. So now for my July to be read. Um, since there are two readathons in the month of July, hashtag a yearathon and booktubeathon, it's going to be a bigger list. Hopefully I can get to all of them, because then that would really make a dent in my TBR. So, let's get started. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I have less than 100 pages left in this uh, book, so I know I'm going to finish it this month. It was a bit of a slower read for me. Um, while I do have my problems with the book, I am really enjoying it. I will say this is probably going to be one of those few instances where I really like the movie a lot better than I like the book. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. As I said, I finished this last night on July 1st, so technically it is in my July to be read. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is probably my favorite book in the entire series, mainly because I'm a huge Remini shipper, and you do see a lot of that romantic tension really develop in this book. So I was a bit of a shipping mess. I can't... I remember not really liking Harry and Ginny, when I read it the first time around, and in the movies it's okay, but in this one I really liked it. It surprised me how much I actually shipped them. So, yeah, I read this. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows on audiobook. 
I'm going to be reading this starting July 10th because that is when I do get my new, um, or my credits for my next audiobook. So that's when I'll be starting it. I'm really excited but also really sad. I really enjoyed rereading these books on audiobook. I love Jim Dale as the narrator. I never actually listened to the Stephen Fry version. So we will see how that goes. Or I'm still listening to the Jim Dale version. But I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was really a throwback to what I loved about the Harry Potter series. And actually, going back on it as an adult, I noticed a lot of things that I hadn't noticed when I was a younger kid reading this. So maybe I'll film a video about things I noticed, or maybe things other people may not have noticed in Harry Potter. We'll see. I also have to rewatch all of the films because I haven't seen them in a while, so I should do that. Next up, we've got Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Um, I'm really excited to get to this book. It looks gorgeous, and I hope it's amazing. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Eon by Alison Goodman. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Miss Marvel, Volume 3, Crush. Rat Queens, Volume 1, Sass and Sorcery. Star Trek Countdown to Darkness, in honor of the new Star Trek Beyond movie coming out uh, later this month. I'm really, really pumped for it, but I'll also be really sad, because if you hadn't heard, Anton Yelchin, who plays Chekhov, uh, unfortunately passed away recently. So it'll be a very bittersweet film, but I'm hoping the comics will live up to the movie's hype, and I've been watching the television show. So now I'll be able to compare it both between the actual film and the comic books. Or not the comic books. And the original TV show. And that's my June wrap-up and July TBR. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If uh, you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will also post a link to my Tumblr, Goodreads, and maybe even my Twitter, if you'd like. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh my god, that's ridiculous.